Hi, I'm Mike Enix, Vice President of Sales with Technix Tool Group. Today I want to talk about Parlec collet chucks made in USA, and we're going to contrast those with some of the uh, import tooling that we're seeing from around the world. There's a lot of new brands that are in the marketplace, a lot of private label offerings. Uh, specifically, we'll do a, a nut demo test, which is going to be a direct reflection of holding power of the collet nut. Now what you'll notice about this collet nut, and really all of the imports, they all use an uncoated collet nut, and we'll talk why that's kind of important here in a minute. But what we're gonna do is just a, a reflection of holding power. So I'm gonna take the collet, of course, and insert it into the collet nut. And we're gonna put a 20 millimeter shank, which is the largest shank that an ER32 can hold. Tighten this down, and just for comparison's sake, we're gonna tighten this nut down to 80 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna put my torque wrench at 80 foot-pounds. And one of the things that you may notice here when I tighten this down is there's quite a bit of jumpiness, some friction that's generated. And what that is, why that is, is whenever you have two ground surfaces that are mating, in this case the collet nut threads and the threads of the collet holder, you get a lot of friction. Well, that friction in this case is a bad thing because it translates to inferior holding power. So at 80 foot-pounds, uh, I'm going to actually back this torque wrench off to 70, and we're just going to apply torque on this outer nut here, so this is going to simulate how well that collet would hold a tool shank, in this case, this extension. So at 70 foot-pounds, it's holding. Go back up to 80. Okay, just barely starting to spin at 80 foot-pounds of, of torque with the uncoated nut. What we're gonna contrast this with is a Parlec power nut, so offered a few different ways in a coolant style as well as what we call a flush nut. So I'm going to use the same collet. We're, all we're going to do is we're going to change the nut itself. We'll go ahead and start to thread that on. We'll use, of course, the same extension. And my torque wrench is already set at 80 foot-pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. It's a lot smoother when I tighten this down because this friction has a, or this uh, nut has an anti-friction coating on it, unlike some of the import tooling that we're looking at here. So quite a bit smoother. Uh, we know the other one was breaking at 80 foot-pounds, so I'm going to go ahead and just start the test here. Okay, holding at 80. I'm going to take it to 100. Okay, still holding at 100. Let's get crazy. We're going to go 120. Mm, boy, I got to pull hard on that. Still, still holding at 120. Uh, here's 135. We're going to really get crazy here. Still holding at 135 foot-pounds. As a company that's exclusively focused to tool holders, we understand that you're only as good as your weakest link. So don't trust your machining process to inferior import tool holders. At Parlec, we're very, very proud of the fact that we've been made in the USA for over 70 years. So if you want high quality, USA made tool holders, call Technics Tool Group. Thanks for your time. Thank you.